You know, Kentucky John, a lot of folks really don't understand the difference between marijuana and hemp. So I'd let me take a minute to describe it for you folks. Uh, they're both the same crop. That They are both the same plant, which is scientifically known as cannabis. And uh, it depends on how you cultivate it. When you want industrial textile, or you want uh, building materials, or clothing, or rope, or paper, or fuel that you pour into your car, then you cultivate the cannabis seed to produce hemp. Hemp doesn't have any real THC in it, very negligible amount, and you grow very thick fields of it, one after the other, it's planted very close together. You see the big hemp fields with the big tall stalks and all, and that is called hemp. That's cannabis when it's industrial textile. When you take that same seed and you want to plant it and get medicine or smoking material out of it that you call marijuana, then you take that seed and you plant it in a spot where it's going to get a lot of sun. You clear out all the underbrush so that it will produce resin and THC in reaction to the sun's ultraviolet rays. And that's how you get the strongest crop there. But both marijuana and hemp are both cannabis in the same way that Danny DeVito and Dennis Rodman are both adult males. You know, uh, they're just, uh, they share a lot with each other as far as adult males of the same species. But they don't look a lot alike, but they're bred for different purposes. I mean, you wouldn't breed Dennis Rodman to act for you, and you wouldn't breed Danny DeVito to rebound for you. Uh, but th that is the difference. Now, you take the tall hemp stalks when you want uh, methanol or gasoline, and you take that biomass, uh, but then you get 20 barrels of petroleum off an acre of hemp. That's all hemp is, is petroleum. All petroleum is is liquefied vegetative matter that was grown eons ago and trapped and stored the sun's energy through photosynthesis and then was set aside by nature and put through a liquefaction process into petroleum or compacted into coal and peat. And what we're running around in our cars on right now and burning in our furnaces is that sun's energy that was trapped and stored. Hemp is the most effective photosynthesizing biomass on the planet. It more readily traps and stores the sun's energy than any other growing thing. If we planted 7% of the U.S. agricultural land in hemp, we wouldn't have to import another drop of oil. But that's one fuel source. The other fuel source is the hemp seed, the marijuana seed, the cannabis seed. Every one of those seeds is a little oil capsule. It is 35 to 40% oil by weight. So if you, I had 100 pounds of hemp seed, I would have 35 to 40 pounds of the premier motor lubricating oil on the planet due to its constant viscosity. And in 1991, Willie Nelson and I poured hemp oil into my Mercedes diesel into the gas tank and drove it across Kentucky as a part of my governor's race. Here's the deal. The hemp oil will lubricate your engine. It will run your diesel engines. Rudolph Diesel patented the diesel engine to run off of seed oil so the farmer could produce their own food. And hemp oil is the premier seed oil on the planet. Or you can take that same oil and you can put it in your wok and stir fry your vegetables because it's some of the most nutritious food you can put in your body. So that, folks, is the difference between marijuana and hemp, and they're both cannabis, which our farmers ought to be growing by the thousands of acres.